Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I've got a bit of a different video, haven't done this before, I thought it might be quite funny. Um, I'm going to open this beautiful new Barbie set up. Barbie, what's wrong with you? You don't look so good. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, this isn't Barbie. This is Belinda. Barbie's rip-off cousin. Basically, I thought it would be funny if I bought some rip-off uh, dolls and opened them on camera. Rip-off dolls, knock-off dolls, clone dolls, whatever you want to call them, they have uh, been in production since the dawn of time. There has always been toy companies um, ripping off popular toy brands, um, hoping that when your elderly grandmother buys you a Christmas present, she's not going to know the difference. Or that, I mean, normally they're a more cost-effective uh, option as well. And a lot of kids don't really mind um, if you buy them the knockoff version. Um, obviously, us doll collectors, uh, we I, I would mind if I got a knockoff version. But uh, these dolls can be so funny, so weird. And I thought I'd just open some of them on camera and we can have a laugh and see if any of them are like actually nice quality, see how the quality is, yada yada yada. I have um, this fake Barbie, obviously meant to be inspired by Barbie. Oh, it's got a little handle, that's cute. Um, I got this Freeze 2 dolls. Freeze 2, not Frozen. Freeze 2 dolls. Um, and I got this Beauty Sweet, Beauty Sweet Girl. Funnily enough, this one looks like it's a rip-off of Monster High. Very unusual. Um, let's start with the Barbie, though, because, you know, Barbie is probably the most frequently ripped off of all the doll blinds for all time. Um, this doll is interesting. It comes with a ridiculous amount of very high quality fashions. Um, here's the doll. The doll looks quite nice. I'll be interested to see if she's got, like, articulated legs. The logo is obviously such a clear rip-off of the Barbie logo. Um, this doll is definitely stealing inspiration from the Barbie boxes of about five, six years ago with the yellow. I remember when Barbie used to do this. Um, and this is literally the exact same font. Um, in fact, it uses a lot of the same letters. I think it looks like the N is made out of the A. They've kind of like cut it together. Um, it says colour and fun style. There are literal pictures up here that look like they've been stolen from Barbie merchandise. This dress here looks really cute, but um, that is not in the collection here. Uh, it says fashion set, beautiful. Barbie's got a little beauty mark in this version, interesting. Um, your choice, lovely dress. Just kind of random stuff um, she's displayed in there. The dresses are nicely displayed. There, another picture on the side. That is literally just a stolen Barbie image. <laughs> on the back here, we have more clearly stolen Barbie images. Um, that one looks like the Superstar Barbie um, doll from a couple of years ago. Uh, it says, they are famous fashion des designers. Designers? Designers is spelt wrong. So um, that's another common theme in these um, in these dolls is that the, the the spellings are normally wrong and the f the grammar is terrible. Um, but to be fair, on the people that made them, English probably isn't their first language, and I can't speak any other languages, so I can't really like chat. So anyway, um, see what happens when you play with color. Okay, colors and contents may vary from illustration. Yeah, well, I mean, you're not kidding because. I mean, these dresses do not look like the, dress. <laughs> the dresses we see here. But yeah, let's open her and have a little look-see. So funny. I'd love to know um, if you guys have ever... Oh wow, the, dress, the dresses are already falling out. I'd love to know if you guys have ever um, bought rip-off dolls, or if you ever had rip-off dolls when you were a kid. When I was a kid, I had quite a few rip-off dolls. Um, I bought them from the post office, I think. They used to sell cheap dolls. Um, I remember I had this baby doll and her eye kept falling out. <laughs> that was funny. If I like pressed on the eye too hard, it would like pop into her head and then it would be really hard to get out. Um, but yeah, so that was fun. Uh, okay, the hair quality doesn't feel terrible. Okay, so she's free from the box and um, first things first, she's 
pretty much completely bald. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Um, but you know, other than that, cute face. Um, the, dre the dresses on these cheap dolls never fit properly. That's another thing. And the other thing I noticed was her legs are so strange. What on earth? What on earth? I mean, that is so creepy. This, this is like some kind of Slender Man nightmare fuel. What is going on? And considering half her dresses are quite short, it's not even well disguised. She doesn't come with any shoes. Little matchstick legs. I mean, someone's been skipping leg day. Her face isn't so bad, I guess. The hair is not the worst quality. Like, it's not great, but it's it, it, it'll do. Um, it's a shame about her bald patch again. And the other dresses, oh my goodness, the quality is insane. It's literally like paper. It's literally like paper. This one's quite pretty, I guess. These two are like pretty much exactly the same. Um, other than that, I mean, they are pretty horrendous. The patterns are awful. Um, <laughs> I just can't get over her legs. I mean, this is hilarious. Okay, now we've had a look at the rip-off fake Barbie. Let's have a look at the Freeze dolls. Freeze 2. May the joy and happiness around you today and always. That's literally what it says. I mean, again, I'm guessing these were produced by people uh, that don't speak English. Um, but that is quite hilarious. And then it says here, happy and like of Andy comes becomes the one hope sweet you childhood. I mean, that is what it says, or have I like hit my head or something? Um, why are they mentioning Andy? Is Frozen from the same universe as Toy Story? It says the same thing up here. There are images, the box has been like completely crushed, um, but there are images literally stolen straight from Frozen 2. Um, and they are obviously in their outfits from the beginning, I'm gonna say, of the movie. Yeah, it's from the very beginning. Um, I mean, the dolls don't look terrible, but let's have a little look, see. Come on. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with Olaf? He honestly looks like he's seen a ghost or something. <coughs> don't remember him making that sound in the film. Again, there is no shoes on these dolls. Um, here is obviously Elsa. Uh, the articulation is pretty good. I feel like they've literally stolen the sculpt um, for the arms from the Disney dolls. They look very, very similar. Um, they're slightly more like rubbery. Um, again, she's completely bald. Um, luckily it's hidden quite well by her braid. Um, but if I take this out, you can see she's completely bald. She's like Friar Tuck or something. The dress is, again, the material is like insanely cheap. Um, it's pretty movie accurate though, I guess. And again, what on earth, you guys? Like, what on earth is going on here? Oh! No! I broke her leg off. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, well, look, they have bend and snap legs. Barbie doesn't even do that anymore. The only problem is, it's snapped right off. There we go. It pops back on though. Oh dear. Okay, this is not going well. The faces aren't awful. This is obviously Anna. Um, they've even made the little jacket, which is quite nice. Um, same, same baldness. It clearly runs in the family. It's genetic. Do you want to build a snowman? Come on, let's go and play. Creepy. I don't feel so good. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Monster High rip-off doll. This one was only three pounds, so decent. Um, there's a bit of a disconnect between the box and the doll. She's clearly meant to be Draculaura. She's got the fangs and everything. Um, but the box is very feminine, very girly, not very Monster High-esque. It says, collect our beauty, this is our style. But there's no space, it's like, collect our beauty, this is our style very unusual. Um, 
there's this image on the back which does not kind of represent the doll at all. Um, number number one, new type. Number two, special style. Number three, modern design. A girl of beauty. The most welcome gifts the child, the children. The, the most welcome gifts the children. Interesting. And there's, there's barbed wire. Well, I mean, it looks like barbed wire around the outside. Very unusual. If we just, she is literally just loose in the box. Ah, yay, she has shoes. That's it. Oh, oh my God, oh. She's really sticky and slimy. Like, I'm not sure if you can see, she's like glistening because she's like wet with something. That's disgusting. I wouldn't give this to a child. She's got the same weird skinny leg situation going on. Um, she's got her clearly rip off of Draculaura's face. She is pretty bald. Not as bad as the others though. The hair is interesting. Um, oh, she smells. She smells like, I don't know. It's kind of freaking me out. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands after touching this one. Yeah, okay, that's enough of that. Okay, doll fans, so that was me unboxing some beautiful, high quality, knockoff, rip off, fake versions of popular doll wine dolls. Um, please let me know what you thought of this video. I know it was kind of weird. I thought it might be funny. It was overall just a bit confusing. Um, let me know what you think of this video. Please don't forget to check me out on Instagram. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you real soon, doll fans. Bye. <laughs>